Hi, it's Coach Jen. Uh, I have for you today the non-equipment, no equipment needed workout for uh, May 22nd. Um, we're gonna do a two-part workout here today. Uh, first workout is going to be a 20-minute AMRAP, so you're gonna need to set your clocks for 20 minutes. Uh, here is, here are our movements. Um, we are gonna start with eight Bulgarian split squats on each leg followed by 10 clapping pull-ups. I'm sorry, clapping push-ups. Don't do clapping pull-ups. <laughs> Far more advanced gymnastics skill. Uh, followed by a 30 second wall sit, followed by a 10 second L sit. So uh, let's talk about these movements. Um, our first one, we've got a Bulgarian split squat. Um, I like to use the stairs for these. Um, you're gonna take one foot out in front of you. The other one is gonna come behind. You're just gonna rest your toe on that uh, step or whatever you have behind you to elevate you. Uh, your weight should be on your front leg. Specifically in the heel, you're gonna come down, touch that back knee, and come on up. Remember, we're gonna do eight on each side. So get that other side too. Once you got eight on one side, you're gonna set up the same way. Trying to keep all that weight on the front foot there. Uh, then we have 10 clapping push-ups. Clapping push-ups, just what they sound like. Um, we are gonna do some push-ups and throw a clap in the middle there. So, clapping push-ups. Okay, if those are too hard, they're pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if those are way out of, out of your league, um, you feel like you're gonna fall, smash your face into the ground, um, you can just sort of work on getting a little bit of air underneath your hands when you do them. Just kept sort of catching yourself there. Um, otherwise, if you're not able to sort of do sort of like a plyometric style push-up where you're getting a little bit of uh, elevation there, um, just go ahead and stick to regular push-ups. You're still going to get a great workout. Um, our third movement of this workout is a wall sit. Here's a wall. You're gonna get down to right at parallel and you're just gonna hang out here for 30 seconds. It really helps if you focus on driving your feet into the ground here. You're just gonna hold that for 30 seconds. Uh, up last in this workout is the L-sit. L-sits, also pretty, pretty tricky. Um, all we really need for this, I actually have long enough arms that I don't need anything to elevate myself on. I can just lift myself up, but um, not all of you are freaks of nature like myself. So you may need a little something on each side um, so that you're able to push um, and lift your body weight up off the ground. This um, is shouldn't be an arm workout. It kind of is, but this you should be focused on. You should really feel this in your core. Um, what we're going to be trying to do here is sort of float the legs out in front of you. Um, so here we go with the L-sit. Um, L-sits are pretty tough. Um, if you bend your knees, that's going to make it a little bit easier. Um, if you want to try doing something like that, just working on elevating yourself up off the ground um, would be good. Uh, I'd say if you are having a hard time even holding yourself up here, maybe just work on laying back and keeping a foot raise for 10 seconds and sort of holding um, that position there. Um, just some sort of static core movement there. Um, so that is the first 20 minutes of our workout. Um, for a recap, that is a 20 minute AMRAP of eight Bulgarian split squats on each leg, 10 clapping push-ups, a 30 second wall sit and a 10 second L sit. When you finish that, you're gonna rest for four minutes. At the end of four minutes, set your clock for another 10 minutes. Um, in that 10 minutes, you're gonna run one mile. Nice little prep for Merp coming up next week. Um, in whatever time is left after you've ran one mile, you're then going to do as many lunges as you can um, until you hit 10 minutes and see how many lunges you can do. Have fun.